Welcome Bitcoin friends, it's Bitcoin Memo. Today we're going to look at the Bitcoin charts and do some TA. We're going to look at these big drops that we've been having recently. We can see here over the past 33 days we have had these two big drops. This first one here going from 65 down to 46. This was a 28% drop. And then we did get this bounce here. And then we had this other massive drop which is shown on the right here going from approximately 60,000 all the way down to 42,000 and that was a 29.27% drop. So is there more to come or are we close to a bottom? So I just want to start on the 4 hour chart and in the previous videos we were looking at this bigger falling wedge pattern and we did uh, look at the smaller falling wedge patterns that we have been having and one rising wedge pattern and we did break below the white line here and currently we are trying to get back above it at the moment but what i'm noticing is we are in this falling wedge currently here and we can see at the moment we have had three touch points on the bottom and two on the top and looking back at the previous falling wedges which we did look at in the previous video you can see when we had three touches on the bottom and two on the top we did have a bounce on the third touch come down not quite to the trend line and then break out and we had a similar thing here on the red falling wedge here so is this one going to play out in a similar way things do seem extremely bearish at the moment there is extreme fear in the market and that can quite often be a good time to go long so we are getting close to the end of this falling wedge here so if we are going to break it to the upside here, I would expect it to happen sometime in the next couple of days. I am currently in a long. I got in where these wicks are, but I did lose some money on the way down here having to sell my position in the loss. So I'm hoping to get some of that back if we do break this wedge to the upside with a nice uh, entry position here with a long. And if we were to break to the upside of this wedge, we'd also get above this white line here. And looking at this bigger wedge, we can see we've had three touch points with this current touch point and two on the top. And if we were to do a similar thing with this bigger wedge, perhaps we might come back up to this trend line and finally have a breakout. I know it doesn't seem likely at the moment, but that's what the charts are telling me, looking at these falling wedge patterns. And of course, the last two have broken to the upside. And I also want to point out the similarities between these two falling wedges here. We can see that these touch points are a similar spacing apart here and we did do similar movement here going sideways till we touched the top of the wedge again and we did touch that here before having that big drop similar to this one and currently we are going sideways and just overlapping this pattern onto this pattern what we see is they are quite similar here so just zooming in we can see that we did do a very similar thing here when we overlap them and if we were to break to the upside here perhaps we could have a similar run up like this one in the green wedge and push towards this white trend line of the bigger falling wedge and this is that same overlapping of that pattern but on the daily instead of the four hour and you can see currently we did have this pullback. We should see prices start going up here if we are to play out a similar pattern to this pullback here. And just looking on the daily again here, we do have support in this red box here. We did go sideways for a bit here before carrying higher. Also acted as support here. And currently we are getting support in this red box depending on how this candle closes with the body. We did break this yellow trend line here and if I'm wrong and we do break down from that falling wedge then I'd be looking for this white trend line here which acted as support on this run up several times and since going higher we haven't come back to test that trend line and that trend line would be around 38.2 to 39.4 where this red box is. Personally I do think we might have bottomed and just looking at the RSI we did have these trend lines drawn here and currently we are coming down to this bottom trend line and looking at the Bitcoin futures chart here 
I've got the similar trend lines drawn here. I've also got this blue line drawn in here, from which acted as resistance here on the top, support here. And currently we can see it did act as support initially here. But when the futures market opened, we opened further down. But interesting to note, doing the Fib retracement here from the bottom here to the top, we can see that we did come to this golden pocket area. And it did also create this gap in the market here between 48,370 and 46,570. So I do expect this gap to get filled. They do usually get filled sooner rather than later. And we have similar trend lines on the futures chart for the RSI here. And currently we have gone slightly below, but this daily hasn't closed yet. And if this acts as support, perhaps we'll come back up to the top of this trend line and also close this gap. And then I'd like to see us try to get back above this blue trend line, use it as support. And that'd be a good sign that that was the bottom and we're going to push higher again. And looking at the weekly, we did battle with the 21 week exponential moving average just before the close of the week. And we were below it and we managed to climb higher and just close above it here. So that is a good sign. We have come down since this week opened, but we do have the rest of the week before this candle closes. And if we can hold this trend line, that would be a good sign also that we might have bottomed. And that moving average is around 46,300. Another interesting thing to note here is just drawing a horizontal line here from the previous resistance on this run-up where we had a pullback. We did pull back exactly to this line and it has acted as support at the moment. And again, if we do the Fib retracement here, we can see that the golden pocket is also in alignment here with that trend line. So there is a possibility that we have bottomed here. I want to point out something interesting here. If we go back to the previous bull market, at a similar point in the bull run where I think we might be, we can see a similar thing here. We did have this pullback here, then we did run higher, and the pullback from this high came exactly to the top here where this was resistance on the previous run up. So quite similar to what we've done at the moment. And also it corresponded exactly with the 21 week exponential moving average and also the golden pocket just like the current pullback. So there is a lot of confluence there. And if we put them both side by side here we can see exactly how similar they are. In the previous bull market here the 21 exponential moving average was in this golden pocket area. And we pulled back to it and also this line of support from previous resistance. And on this occasion, the 21 week exponential moving average was a bit higher, but we did still wick down to this golden pocket and also the resistance from the previous run up here. So they are quite similar and I do think we're at similar stages in the bull run. And from here, the bull run did go for about three and a half months longer. And from this point here, that would take us into late August, early September. And quickly on the market cipher, we were looking for these green dots. We, we have been getting them on the four hour time frame, but we are looking for them on the higher time frames. We did get one here on the six hour a few days ago, but we have traveled lower. So we are looking for one on the 12 hour to be more reliable. And we can see we've been getting very close, but uh, before the new 12 hour candle opens, the green dot has been disappearing. So we are still looking for a green dot on the 12 hour here. So we'll just have to keep watching the charts. We are near the end of this falling wedge here. So we should see some resolution over the next couple of days. So I think that's about all for today. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'm Bitcoin Mamo. See you next time. Bye.